You know these uh, 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 conspiracies you read about, okay? And, you know, I don't know if you're into conspiracies or not. Uh, a lot of people are as a CIA agent. I'm sure you're not. Yeah. But, uh, you know, some of these conspiracies, like who, who are some of the names that are dropped that world leaders that were, you know, working for the CIA? Because, you know, in the mob, you, you'll read this boss was working closely with the FBI and nobody knew about it for 15 years. Mm -hmm. He was this and he was dropping all the information. And I'm not even talking about like a Joe Pistone, mm -hmm. you know, who was actually working for the FBI that went in for five years and 10 months. I'm talking about like actual world, world leaders. That was Donnie Brasco. Was it? Yeah, I'm not talking okay. Donnie Brasco. Yeah. I'm talking about guys that were world leaders who some say the CIA had them in their pockets and they were giving them information. Who, who are some of the names? Uh, you know what? Um, <laughs> well, Vladimir Putin. Um, he'd be one of them. No, I'm kidding. I'm, oh! I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Mouth, Everybody's yeah. wide open at the table. <laughs> yeah, he's... No. He's yeah. secretly going to destroy the Soviet That was Union. good. Yeah. I got to give it to you. That was really good. Oh, you. Mike, uh, Mike's got a little bit of acting, you know. Uh, and comedy. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's, it, there's been. I, that's a really good question because in, ter in terms of world leaders, normally the question is like, you know, were there celebrities? Were there, you know, people that, that had worked because they were in the public eye, but they could travel everywhere and had access? You know, from a world leader perspective, that's not really, that's not a, a target. When you're talking about a collection target, if you're looking to recruit uh, access to a country, your your first landing spot is not the the leader, right? I mean, maybe there's relationships that exist mm. um, as that person was coming up through the ranks or whatever, and eventually became a leader. And so you're gonna you're gonna want to know what that's all about. You want to know whether you've got anybody who went to school with them or did whatever, and that's that could provide you with some insight. But really, you're looking for people who have actionable intelligence uh, at, at sort of a granular level. So I, you know, I would rather have, rather than the world leader, sure, it'd be nice to have them in their pocket, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, you want the, the guy who's running a desk, you know, for a, a priority target in some other intel service overseas, right? I mean, you're looking, that's what, that's what you're looking to do. Or you're looking for the, the deputy assistant uh, foreign minister, right, who's got terrific access, but is, is right there in decision-making, you know, points. That's the sort of thing. Or you know what? You want the uh, the housekeeper, you know, for the uh, for the world leader. Um, you want proximity, you know, but you, you don't know, want the yeah. number one, is what you're saying. Yeah. How, do you, how, do, how do you recruit? How, what's the method of recruiting folks like that? Uh, you know, it's it's usually not ideology, right? Um, it's usually a little bit more base than that. Um, so you're talking, you know, possibly money. Maybe you're talking about. You know, you you bump across some guy that's, that's working, and your indications are maybe they're GRU, for instance, or they're you know they're FSB or whatever. And you think uh, that'd be a good target, and so you know maybe you find out they got a couple of young kids, um, and that's their I don't want to say their weak link, but that's really what drives them, you know. And that and a lot of times that's what it is. Maybe their kid's sick. Maybe they need some medical attention, right, or some assistance. And that's simple. Yeah, it's it, that it can, simple. It can be that simple. Um, it, it could be that. Oftentimes, it, not often, but another scenario is that they're just not getting enough hugs from their home service, right? Or mm. from wherever they're working. They're not working. feeling the love. They're not they're... feeling the love. They feel like they're disrespected. Nobody's listening to me. I'm too smart for this place. Mm. And so now suddenly you're, you're providing an outlet for them. And now they feel important because now they're getting that information to somebody, right? And, and it sounds odd, right? It sounds like who's gonna, who the fuck's going to betray their country and their family and their government? And their, their, you know, but... You know, that sometimes can be a very powerful thing, right? And that's unfortunately in the counterintelligence world when we talk about people like Hansen, right? Or Jim Nicholson or, or some of these guys, Ed Lee Howard, that's pretty much what it was. They just didn't feel like they were respected. They were too smart you know, for their well, own when, place. When the CIA sets yeah. their sights on somebody and says, we want to get this target, I assume that's how it works. Like, this is the person we want. It's driven by it's driven by tasking. So it's driven okay. by like, okay, we we need to know exactly to the degree we can what the you know Chinese military is spending their money on you know in the next you know two years or three years. Are they dumping all their money into hypersonics mm -hmm. or whatever? So yeah, you know, it'd be nice to get somebody in the PLA or whatever. And so it's driven by the tasking, gotcha. and then you start looking at who's got that who's got access to that information and who may be minded to talk to you. Who could you actually access? Who could you get to? Um, so there's a process that you go through, and, and to be fair, most intel services go through the same process because it's a human thing. And when they get uh, this target or this mission, 
how hard is it for that person to say no? Meaning, how much do you squeeze this person to say, I'm not saying you, yeah, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I got to imagine if you set your sights on somebody and that's your target, you're not going to take no for an answer. No, no, it, 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 it's, I see what you're saying, but it doesn't work that way because you, you never want to coerce somebody into this, right? You, uh-huh. you don't want to, because that's a, that's a, a bad route. It's, it's like with blackmail. People always think, ah, you're going to, you know, you're going you're gonna, to you know, hook them because they, they've compromised themselves. Well, Maybe, but th- and this is somewhat nuanced. If someone compromises themselves, they do go out there and they do something that they, as a, as if say they're an intel, uh, you know, officer for some foreign country that's a target for us. Uh, if they compromise themselves, they do something they shouldn't have done. You're not necessarily using that right as as the hook. What you're doing is you're saying, okay, there's a weakness there, right? There's a they they that's a, that's the weakness. Now we're going to build around that, hmm. right? Because. You know, hooking somebody up by blackmail or or, or strong arming them, strong you're saying it doesn't arming work. Them, it just does, it just doesn't work. Their um, heart needs to be in it, essentially. Well, they need to feel that they're they're doing the right thing, right, and they're doing it for the right reason, even if they're complete, you know, assholes. And you know, and you know, it's just. Why'd you look at Tom when you said that? <laughs> he doesn't appreciate that. No. Here we go. I know. Even uh, if they're complete assholes, yeah, Tom. I mean, so, uh, yeah. I mean, there you go. See, there's a reason we're opposite ends yeah, in this yeah. case. If you enjoyed this short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.